Okay, ladies, let's uh, try to do some uh, density problems now. So uh, let's do this first problem, uh, calculating the density of a solid. So usually solids are um, uh, measured, their volume is measured in centimeters cubed because you can actually, you know, measure it with a ruler or whatever. But um, so let's just read this problem. It says, so as opposed to liquids and gases, uh, liquids volumes are usually uh, measured in milliliters or liters and gases are usually measured in liters. But anyways, um, so it says uh, 2.00 centimeter cubed uh, block of aluminum is found to weigh 5.40 grams. Calculate the density of aluminum in units of grams per centimeter cubed. So, remember we want to first write down the units that are the um, numbers that are given to us in the problem with the correct units. So the volume we said was 2.00 centimeters cubed. And it also gave us the mass. Okay. And that was 5.40 grams. Um, so I know I just taught you how to um, do the, or to um, the memorize the density formula. So how to do density with this formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. But um, the problem said, give the solution in uh, units of grams per centimeters cubed. So that should give you a clue as to how to set up this formula, even if you didn't know this, okay? Even though you've already memorized this, you know, we've already said that, right? But it told you, well, give it to you in grams per centimeter cubed. But it didn't show it like that in the problem, remember? It shows it like this in the problem, and that's, what do we say, like the text message way of writing this same thing here. So if you didn't remember this, you could remember just from what the problem was saying that the density is, um, well, you put the grams on top of the centimeters cubed, right? So 5.40 grams and 2.00 centimeters cubed, okay? And then you just use your calculator and calculate it. 5.40 divided by 2. And that gives you 2.7 on the calculator. But of course, remember, three, three significant figures, three significant figures. So we're going to go 2.70 grams per centimeter cubed. And then we'll write it this way in our final answer, because that's the preferable way to write it. Okay, so that's how to find the density of a solid. And again, remember, um, solids are a lot of times uh, given in volumes of centimeters cubed or meters cubed or things like that, just because it's easier to measure uh, that than the, you know, milliliters or whatever. And we'll talk about uh, gases and liquids in like two seconds. Okay? Cool.